Hey guys, welcome back to Chariot Palmistry. Today we're going to be looking at the Mars line. Kavitha asked, kindly throw some light on the line of Mars. Okay, so in order to answer this question, let's first look at what Mars is and what Mars represents. Mars, the planet, rules determination, willpower, and self-discipline, and things along those lines. It's generally associated with things like the police profession, soldiers, and anyone or anything really that needs willpower and determination in order to do their job. So think of this line as the willpower line. And this is where the line is. It's located inside the lifeline and it sort of runs parallel to it as well. Now in order to time this line, what I want you to do is draw a vertical line from the middle of the index finger and the Saturn finger all the way down until it touches a lifeline. This period here from the start of the lifeline to this point becomes the age of 20. And if you divide this area up, that becomes 10 years. And if you divide that area up as well, that becomes five years. And once again, dividing this period up into one fifths, you get a one year interval. So to look at this line over here, we can see it starts at the age of 19. And when the line is thick, this means this person will have more willpower and more self-discipline. In other words, they'll have more vitality in their life. And this applies to everybody. And you can see that this line in this person here, for example, is strong from about the age of 19 through to 42. And then it gets strong again from the age of 56 through to 82. The times where the line gets thin is the times where this person or this native starts to lose their self-willpower and their sense of inner discipline. And it stays weak for this person from the age of 42 through to 56. And for those of you that are into astrology, that's a period of about 14 years. And that's approximately the Mardasha of Jupiter, which lasts for about 16 years. So you can see the astrology connection over here. Now often the Mars line is going to have some parallel lines running inside it. So most people will have a couple of these, but they'll be very small. But there'll be at least one really thick line. So that's the main one to be looking at over here. Okay, so that's the Mars line in general. Let's try and narrow this down, look at some more details along this line. What I want you to have a look at is the horizontal lines that cut through this area. Now these are the lines for Rahu. And what is Rahu? Rahu is illusion and it is Maya. So if you think of it, Rahu is really the opposite of the sun in many ways. The sun gives light, Rahu gives illusion. But Rahu also gives shortcuts and so he always cuts down Mars. Mars wants you to work hard and gives you willpower and determination. Rahu wants you to take shortcuts in life. So think of like the athlete who has a choice between training for 10 hours every day or taking steroids, the shortcut. They both more or less get you to the same end result, but one is the right way to do things and the other is the wrong way to do things. And that's what Rahu is. So the horizontal lines that cut across this area are Rahu lines. And any line that cuts across the Mars line but doesn't cut into the lifeline, that represents a problem that's going to happen in your life but that isn't actually going to give you negative consequences. And so in this native's life, for example, when this Rahu line cut his Mars line, this person's sister-in-law left his brother-in-law. Now it didn't actually affect him directly, but what it did do was cause lots of family problems and therefore it was a problem in his orbit but didn't actually affect his life per se. The problem comes though is when the Rahu line cuts through the Mars line and into the lifeline and where it goes after that point. This is a problem that actually will have long term consequences for this person. And you can time this event based on where you are on the Mars line or where you are on the lifeline. Alright guys, that's the Mars line and how to time events off it. For the most part, these events are going to be negative in some nature. Some of them will give you real problems, some of them will give you a narrow escape from problems. But they will generally show problems in one way or another. That's mostly because when Mars gets weak, it affects you internally. It affects your ability to function and your focus and drive in life. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, hit the subscribe button and you'll get more videos just like this. Thank you very much.